We love growing things in California. We set our imaginations loose. And watch the magic happen. So come enjoy. Come enjoy. A taste of the good life. Because it looks like a spot just opened up. Start your trip at visitcalifornia.com.au. I'm Dusky Estes, and we are at McBride Farm in Sonoma County. One of our uh, companies produces bacon, and we do really unusual bacon. We call it slow bacon because it takes almost a month to make, and most bacon is traditionally made in less than a day. Come on, pigs! And most bacon is made with pigs that are confined and not treated well. And all of our pigs are pasture-raised and heritage breed. This breed of pig we're really big fans of, the Red Waddle. Uh, we competed in a whole pig cooking contest against chefs from all over the country. And we won, and we're now the king and queen of pork in this country. And we won with this breed of pig because it has such incredible marbling. It has the greatest texture of meat of all. So we're big, big fans, and we're about to start breeding them. So we're really excited about that. We grow about 30% of the produce we use in our restaurant, and otherwise we say, know the face that feeds you. So we, we only hand our money to somebody we know. <laughs> So this is our fig tree. Uh, look at the juice. Do you see that? Um, we're gonna do some bacon wrapped figs on the menu tonight. And just, and they're best tree ripened, which is what is so awesome about produce in Sonoma County, is that most produce, because we grow everything here, is picked uh, when it's ripe rather than picked early. And so, and it's never been refrigerated. And food that you eat that's never been refrigerated and was just picked, there's nothing better. Totally alive. Oh, it really matters to me that we take responsibility for the food that we eat in terms of how it affects the environment, how it affects the farmer, and how it affects the animal. So we are really, really committed to taking that seriously. And then, after that, after we get these rock star ingredients in, it's our philosophy not to mess them up. We feed them real simply, so you can taste what's awesome about that food product. So these are Padrone peppers, which is an heirloom variety of pepper uh, that is fun in many ways. When you eat the dish, one in eight is spicy. So it's kind of, you just have to be willing to get that little pop of heat. I love it because it's an eye opener for me. Um, and the thing I love about being a farmer and a chef is Farming actually brings you back to being a child and going on an Easter egg hunt. And I talk to my farmer about this all the time. Like every day you feel like you're looking at the plant and it's trying to hide its fruits from you. Uh, so it all looks the same kind of, it's all the same color, but you have to look for the little shiny bits. And that is the best part. So here's our little Easter egg hunt. We're finding perfect ones. Let's see if we get eight so that you know you'll get one spicy. Right. Okay. There we go. So we'll take these back too to the stove. Little fruits of our labor. What we love about owning restaurants and farming and ranching in Sonoma County is that we can do everything here. We love that all of our food comes from a 50 mile radius. Any of our produce from a face we know. And that is really important to us. There you go. This is one of our chickens. So they eat the bread uh, that's left over off our tables. In exchange, they give us eggs and we make pasta. We try to close the circle. Hello. Yeah. One of our favorite things to do this time of year is a bacon wrap fig. To do this dish is so easy. We got a little bit of the fig leaf for the garnish. And we just take an awesome slice of bacon and wrap it around a fig. And then we use a little skewer to close it up. And then you're gonna roast that on a grill or in a broiler or in a really, really hot oven just to cook the fig a little bit and crisp up that bacon. So this is par-cooked bacon. Here we go. And we'll put those on the grill just like that.
So we're gonna let those keep going while we cook our peppers. And so as you can see, we try to cook really simply. We try to get the best ingredients, which Sonoma County has plenty of, and then we try not to mess them up. So we uh, saute the peppers in olive oil, and then we add only three things. Salt, almonds, and sherry vinegar. So voila, ready to eat. You want one? <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready to eat. Are you gonna get the hot one or me? I mean, it's a very generous, outgoing, family-friendly place to be. People come in the back door all the time with whatever's growing in their garden. You can't get that anywhere else. Like, you, it's just because we get the fruits of the labor, like, because we know the people. So. So come, come eat with us. <laughs> right now what I have is a harissa vinaigrette. So it's sort of a chili paste that we made with the chilies here uh, that we like because then you get salty, sweet, heat. Salt from the bacon, sweet from the fig, and a little heat from this chili paste. And when your mouth gets to taste all those things, that's when your mouth says it's happy. People should come to Sonoma County because there is no other place that has this proximity of diversity of agriculture. And we get the best stuff and we keep it here and we send out the schlock. So, <laughs> good luck with your eating. <laughs>